as a teacher, I had realized at some point in the process, oh, I'm really not just dealing with like point your toe fat harder or move on your left leg. I'm dealing with like the whole person. I'm not, you know, the problems a person has as a dancer is that sometimes the problems they have as a human. Um, I had an incident where I was teaching in Lisbon and I was teaching ATM to these students and then, you know, going into other kinds of more esoteric exercises. But one student had a hard time lying on her back, uh, even with her legs bent. And it was so incredible. All the students came over and they started like barking instructions that are like, well, maybe if you push into your feet, maybe if you like, you know, you know, squeeze your belly, you know, that's always like one of the big ones, squeeze your belly. Um, when in doubt, squeeze the all, belly. Exactly, exactly, exactly. All this like, all, and this, this person's like, <laughs> I could just see her. And I was like, whoa, 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 everybody. First of all, calm down. Second of all, let's just ask this person. I Let, let me ask you. Are you interested in laying on your back on the floor? Like, is this something you even want to do? Right. And she was kind of like, oh, you know, and it was like, I was like, we're all like coming at her as if it's necessary for her to do this thing. Like, do we know if she actually wants to do this? So that's the other thing, too, right? This functional idea that comes from the work of like, you know, if you know what you're doing, you can do what you want. But like, what do you want? Like, what do you want to do? Um, you know, it's not required that we're all doing the same thing. So, you know, that was such an incredible moment, I think, in the room. And I remember all those students being like, oh, like I, it hadn't even occurred to them that that was an option for her to think through, like, well, what is it that I want in this moment? So that's been a huge thing. And then the other thing has just been this thing of meeting people where they are. And as a director, you know, it's so easy when you're working with a group of people to see the people that aren't aligning with your vision immediately as like the problem person or the problem people. That's like such a typical dynamic that can emerge in any kind of social setting. And I think that the work has really asked me or invites me to not see people as problems, but to see them as possibilities and opportunities for me to think how I can change my approach.